Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make these helix striped uh, crochet water balloons. In my previous video I showed you how to make the single colour balloons. So if you're a beginner crochet you might want to try this, this one out first, it's a lot easier. These water balloons are a great fun for your kids. You simply dunk them in clean water and throw. Make sure you supervise them, however, and they're not throwing them at uh, each other's faces. To make your crochet water balloons, you're going to need some Banat Blanket yarn in uh, various colours. You'll also need an 8mm hook, a pair of scissors, a stitch marker and a darning needle. So, let's get started. Okay, to make your helix striped water balloon, we're going to start with our first colour. We're going to put a slip knot on our hook, like so, and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. We're going to join to that first chain to form a ring, and then chain one. This does not count as a stitch. We're now going to put four single crochets into that ring. One, two, three, and four. If you work over that tail, you can use that to just tighten the ring up a little bit. So we've got our four single crochet. We're now going to swap to our next color, which in this case is going to be the white. We're going to put our hook into the centre, we're going to pull our yarn through and join with the slip stitch. We're now going to put four single crochet into that ring. One, two, three, and four. So this is how your crochet should look at the end of round one. We're now going to continue with round two. So we're going to put two single crochet into this first stitch here. So we're continuing with the white. One and two. Now we're going to put our stitch marker into that first stitch so that we know where the beginning of the round is. We're going to carry on now putting two single crochets into each, each stitch that is available. That's one, two, one, two, and two more into this last single crochet. Now, so we've got to the end of, of the stitches we've been working on. There's no more stitches available to work on. So we're going to take our hook out of the white and put it back into the pink. Now we're going to continue with our increases, putting two single crochets into each stitch. Sometimes the first stitch can be a bit tricky to get your hook into. So, two single crochets into this stitch. And two into the next stitch. And two single crochets into each of the remaining stitches. And there you go. So this is how your work should look at the end of round two. Okay, so here we are at the start of round three. From now on, we're going to be putting a single crochet into each stitch around. So go ahead and remove that stitch marker and put a single crochet into that first stitch. And then you want to replace that stitch marker. So we're going to continue with single crochet into each stitch around. 
so you'll keep going until you reach the end of the white stitches and now it's time to change colour again so you take your hook out pick up the white and then continue with a single crochet into each stitch Here we are at the end of the round. This is how it should look at the end of round three. Now we're going to continue for the next three rounds doing it exactly the same. So we're going to repeat round three three more times. So here we are at the end of round six. Your helix balloon should look something like this. So we're now ready to do our decrease round. So we're going to remove our marker and we're going to single crochet two stitches together place your marker and continue working two single crochets together all the way around now at the same time as doing this you need to carry on keeping your colors correct so when you need to change color you change color so once you get to the end of working over the white here, you'll then change. Carry on, single crochet two together, all the way around. Here we are at the end of round seven. So the next round is going to be exactly the same as round seven. We're going to single crochet two together all the way around. So remove your stitch marker, single crochet two together, replace that marker and continue with your decreases all the way around. back to the pink and continue decreasing okay so here we are at the end of the round and the next round we're going to start increasing it again so remove that marker two single crochet into the next stitch place your marker into that first single crochet two single crochet into the next stitch change colour Oops. two single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into that last stitch there we go so you want to want to leave yourself a fairly long tail probably about 10 inches also on each of these so you can sew your ends in okay so we can remove that stitch marker now so we're going to put a slip stitch into this next stitch and then fasten off and we're going to do exactly the same with the pink And just as we did with a single colour, 
balloons. We're going to finish off the balloon by sewing in our ends and also going to be wrapping the yarn around the neck twice to tighten it. You can pick which colour you want to do that with. I'm going to go ahead and do that with the, with the pink. Secure that with a couple of stitches inside. And then you can just thread that through and cut off that end. Oh, we seem to have got that. <laughs> caught up underneath there, let's just pull that out. So we're actually going to do exactly the same, just sew this end in. A couple of stitches inside first, then thread it through and out the other side and then cut off that end. And there you have your finished helix striped water balloon.